Hi, I'm Mira. Welcome to Flow with Mira. Let's get started for our class, Pilates with a fitness ball. So we're going to start the class sitting on a ball. Preferably, I like you to have the ball on the floor and your feet on the mat. So it's not so slippery for your feet. So I like you to sit, perching on your sit bone. Have the heels underneath the knee joint here, and you can have your feet as wide as your pelvis. If you feel like you want a, a bit of an extra challenge, you can have the heels in one alignment with the sit bone. That narrows the base of balance here. It's going to make you a little bit more wobbly, but I'll leave it up to you how you're going to work today. All right, we're going to start the class with some... Um, Breathing and transverse abdominal connections, our TVA, our natural corset. So let's go. Lifting tall, sitting tall. I want you to place your hands on the lower belly here. Now we're going to inhale through the nose. Allow the belly to expand into your hands. And exhale, I want you to pull the belly in, away from your hands, and deliberately really try to engage the abdominal muscles like as if you're wearing a corset, supporting that waistline. In breath, and exhale, and in breath, and exhale, and start becoming aware how that corset engagement helps you to support your spine a lot stronger, a lot clearer, and in breath, and exhale, We'll do one more time, in breath, and exhale, pulling in, pulling in, pulling in, okay. Now, firmly place your feet down. I really want that corset muscle to stay in as much as you can today. Hands on the waist here. We're gonna start with some pelvic rocks here. So, we're gonna in breath, and as we exhale, that abdominal connection that you just did before, I wanna pull in, and that will take your pelvis into a tuck under position, and the pelvis will kind of move the ball forward underneath you, and then we're gonna release back to the start position, and gonna push the pelvis back into an arch position. We're going to bring yourself upright again and use an abdominal contraction. We're going to curl the pelvis. So we are just going to mobilize the pelvis here to start. In breath. And then exhale. Go under. And lifting and arching and lifting up tall. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. Underneath you. Exhale, curl under, inhale, lift, exhale, arch away, and one more time. Exhale, so have your feet firmly placed down as if almost you're gonna drag the feet towards the ball and stay. And this time we're gonna go into lateral sway. So we're gonna go to your right first. We're gonna sway the pelvis to your right, anchor the right foot down, firmly place that foot down as you push that ball that way and return. And the other way, and come back, and again, and center. Your feet are important. They need to be in good contact with the floor. And spread the toes away, and make sure, which I didn't check before, I didn't say before, make sure that the feet are in parallel position. And again, sway to your left, center, right, and left. One which side, last one, and there. Now we're gonna combine all of that. We're gonna start with curling the pelvis under, over to your right, and rotate backward, and around to the left, and forward. So we are trying to make a circle with our sitting bone, the bone that is underneath the pelvis there that you can feel when you're sitting on the ball there. Imagine you're just drawing a circle, two circles with each sitting bone as you go around and around. And checking that it's not your legs that is actually initiating the movement, but rather the pelvis bone. Right, we'll go one more time, and back, and there, reverse. We're gonna go forward, over to your left, back, around to your right, under, and to your right, and left, 
and again. If you find any point in the direction that feels a little sticky, then I'd like you to just pay a little bit more attention to the area. Perhaps you're gonna pause and try to stretch that part a little bit more. And maybe oh, you just wanna try to get a little bit more movement in there by moving a little bit over to that direction. And I'll leave it to you, what your body feels like it wants to do today. Just increase your awareness and come back to the center. Okay, now still perching on sitting bone. Great, now from here, interlace the hands behind your head here. I want you to really guard the feet down, pull up in the center, wrap that corset in. We're gonna rotate. Rotate the upper trunk over to your right. Inhale, center. Over to the other side. Inhale, center. As you rotate to your right, firmly place the right foot down and make sure that the hip doesn't rotate with you as you rotate to your right. Over to your left, keep pressing the left foot down, maybe a slight forward rotation in the hip to neutralize the pelvis. And again, in breath. Just trying to connect that brain with the feet, with the base of support, center. And rotate and center. Rotate, last set. Rotate, last one. And come back, open the arms up to a T position. Take the arms up to the sky here and a press down. Inhale, lift. And turn the palms, press down. Inhale, lift. And one more. Lifting the arms up here, palm facing each other. Guard the feet down, guard the sitting bone down. And I want you to tilt over to your right, anchor the opposite leg down, return to center. Go to your right leg down, lengthen over to your left and center. We inhale, reach over, exhale. Inhale, reach over, exhale. Try to keep the legs rather quiet here. So we're not swaying the ball left and right. Instead, we're just reaching over with the upper torso and center one which side over last one and let the arm go hands back on the hips here now from here i want you to lift both heels up hold at center lower and lift and lower and again see if you can narrow your feet a little bit more in line with the sitting bone here Challenging your balance. Two more. Last one, we stay up. A little prancing with the foot, and we're gonna lower one heel and chin. Inhale. Balance in the center while you move your feet. And. Inhale, one, two. Exhale, one, two. Last set, and both heels up, both heels down. Lift the right heel up, anchor the left foot. We're gonna take the right leg out without moving around in the upper body, hopefully. Lift it up, and down. And switch, other foot, and lift it up. Minimize the shift, again. If you can just work, or if you just want to work on just trying to put the foot off the floor a little bit, and that's absolutely fine. And we can progress eventually to one leg off. And what's important is you've got this corset muscles really working actively for you to support your spine. I almost lost myself there. And again, and one last and let it go good now we can sit up now i want you to lie on your back lying supine and have your legs resting on the ball right so tuck the ball close to your 
thigh bone. Open the arms up to the side. You can bring the legs together here. We're going to inhale. Spine to supine. Rotate the ball over towards me. Anchor the shoulders. Exhale, come back. I want you to move the ball from the waistline. So you're going to rotate the leg and the ball as one unit over to you now. Exhale, center. So don't let the ball run away by itself, but you're going to move the leg with the ball and the ball with the leg. And over to you as we inhale, pressing the back of your arms down. Exhale, over to me as we in breath. One last one here, in breath. Exhale, come back to center. Good work. Okay, now just separate the legs slightly here. Interlace the hands behind your head here. We're gonna do some chest lift series. Now just rest your leg down onto the ball, but I want you to just activate the back of your leg and try to pull the ball towards your thigh. All right, allow the pelvis to settle down. We're not curling up. We're just going to keep it relaxed down on the floor here. Take an in-breath. Exhale, draw in the corset muscle. Slide the ribcage down and keep the, keep the abdominal contracted inward as we lift the upper chest up. Have a check down into your belly. Have a look at it and make sure that the belly stays in and your pelvis is not gripping and staying in a somewhat neutral pelvis and exhale come on down again exhale lift inhale we hold exhale you know i'm hugging the ball into the back of my leg here so exhale lift i'm trying to reach my sitting bone towards the ball and intensify the connection in my center here in breath exhale come back down two more Inhale, lift a little higher and hug the ball in a little bit more. And exhale, come back down. Last one. Inhale, pulling in the ball. And exhale, and let's add the twist here. So if you come out, as you exhale, we'll lift over towards the right, towards me. Get both shoulder blades off the floor. And in breath, come on down. Other way to you. Diagonal lift and come on down. Exhale, lift. In breath, return for this one. Exhale, rotate. In breath, return. Now as you rotate and lift to the right side, I want you to really hug the right leg with the ball, with the ball to the pelvis here. And come back. And to the left, anchor the left leg with the ball. And come down, one more each side. And over to the right, anchor the heel to the ball, and in breath. Last one there, on the other side. And come back, well done. Walk your feet away, walk the ball away. So have the legs together here, stay in tabletop. We're gonna do double leg stretch here. We lift the head and the chest up. Inhale, stretch the leg away. Keep the abdominal connected to your spine. Pull the ball in and release down. Again, lift. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, pull in. Inhale, down. Three more. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, pull in. Come on down. Two, high chest lifts. Spread the shoulder blades away behind you. Elbow reaching out and staying in the peripheral vision. Come on down. Last one. Lifting. Reaching. Pulling in. And release down. All right, release the arms by the side. I want you to stretch your legs long here. You can have the feet slightly apart in line with the sitting bone there. Point your feet, press the heels down into the ball. We're going to do a little bottom lift. So you press the arms down, open the chest, lift, curl the pelvis, lift the hips up, push up, hold the center tightly. In breath, we hold. Exhale, we roll down. 
and release the pelvis back to your start position. Again, press the heels gently to the ball, pick up the hamstring, and we curl the pelvis, we press down with the arm, we'll lift up in the hips. In breath, exhale, we roll down. And we'll release the pelvis. Let's do three more here. A little bit of a challenge to find our balance in the long liver. Act in breath. And exhale, articulate down. I'm really trying to imprint that lower spine with my abdominal. Can I really get it down so I can have a little bit more space in my spinal column? And roll it up again, pressing up. Grow long and longer. Roll down, keep the leg reaching away from your shoulders. Last one. I think we're doing an extra one, but you know. More is with more. So let's go one more. And then exhale, roll down and release. Good work. Pull the ball in, take the foot off and feet off. Now let's come up. Let's go into some side action here. So I want you to bring the ball on the side of the waist here. Now bend the bottom knee. I want you to straighten the top leg and on two. Bring yourself over the ball, bottom hand on the ball, top hand here. All right, just find a comfortable spot there. All right, press the bottom pelvis, hip bone forward here. So we activate the hip extensors. Now we're gonna lift the top leg up and down. Lift. This area stays nice and quiet and poised. And lift. And lift. And five, four, three, two. We hold the last one, little circle to challenge that balance. Five, four, three, two, one. Reverse, five, four, three, two, one. Well done, lower it down. Tuck the leg in, have a sit, roll the ball over to the other side, and we will repeat. So we extend the top leg, lifting up the waistline and bring it over the ball. And hands down, top hand here. Press the bottom hip forward and lift. And two, checking that that foot is in line with the sit bone, the heel that is. So not too much forward, not too back. You want to feel the lateral side of the hip working. And four more. Three, two. Last one we hold. Little circle. One direction. Five, four, three. Wobble, wobble, two, that is for me. One, the other way, five, four, three, two, one. We made it, bring it down, tuck the knees in, sit down. Okay, it's time to do some back extension exercise. So, come stand up. I want you to place yourself, pelvis, on the ball. Let's try to do it as elegantly as possible. I like to take one foot forward, place my pelvis on the ball, then hands on the floor, take the other one out. Okay, now from here, you can have the fit a little bit wider as wide as the ball perhaps, or as your mat, or narrower. Basically, the narrower your legs are, the more challenge you have with your center. So I'm gonna leave it to you, but not too wide, off to the floor, okay? Right, now from here, connect your sitting bone to your feet, tuck the toes under, connect the tailbone to your feet, hands behind the head, we're gonna do some swan, whoa, we're gonna find my balance first. I'm gonna bring myself over the ball into flexion, lengthen the legs away from the chest as you lift the chest up into an extension. Here, stretch your arms out, hands behind your head, and exhale over the ball, we go. 
and inhale, reach the heels away as you lengthen the chest opposite direction. I want that kneecap to be pulling up. Extend the arms, hands behind the head and come up and come over the ball in deflection. Inhale, reach forward as you reach back with the leg. In, exhale, in breath, exhale down. Give me two more of this. Inhale, legs straight, arms straight, hands back behind the head and exhale over. One more time, in breath, exhale, and back. And come on over the ball. Hands on the floor, bend the knees, sit the pelvis down to your heels, lifting up, and we're going to finish with some delicious shoulder stretch. Release the ankle, hands on the outer side of the ball here. Send the pelvis back as we send the chest forward. Just gonna walk your hand on the side of the ball. I want you to press into the ball gently, and then take your body down horizontally with the ground here. And horizontal with the ground, in a horizontal position. That didn't make sense, Mira. Now I need to cup the armpit into each other, lift up the center, neck and head long between the arms, and see if you can lower the chest down without collapsing in your center. In breath. Exhale. So we don't want to be like a hammock here. We want to lift up the rib cage. We want to lift up the abdominal as we stretch the shoulder. And then come back up. One more time. We're going to send the pelvis back. Send the chest forward or fold the body forward. Press into the ball with the armpit. Arms are straight. Pick up the rib cage. Pick up the belly button. And we can lower the chest and without losing that abdominal connection. Breathe. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. Press down into the ball and roll up, roll up, roll up. Good. Well done. Thank you for moving with me today. You were wonderful. I'd like to see you back on the mat tomorrow for another lovely class. So have a lovely day. Thank you for watching and completing the class. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to love, look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my seven day beginner challenge. Click the first link in the comment below and sign up. You will receive daily workout videos Focus on building a sustainable practice in as little as 15 minutes per day. This is for all levels as everyone can gain a deeper understanding of the Pilates fundamentals. If you enjoy my work, please like, comment and subscribe and turn on notification so you do not miss any of my free classes and programs. See you on the mat tomorrow.